This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome to Mark Consulting. So guys, uh, in this session, I'm going to cover a topic called vendor or customer mass extension. So uh, guys, if you talk about customer extension or vendor extension from one company code to other company code, uh, then if it is an individual extension, in the sense, if you're going to extend a customer from one company code to other company code or vendor from one company code to other company code individually for individual customer or individual vendor, then uh, XK01 and XD01 transaction code is going to be used. But here, let's suppose if you're having a request to do mass extension, let's suppose you're having 400 vendors or 4,000 vendors or 1,000 vendors which is supposed to be extended from one company code to other company code. Then what will happen? So this is called mass extension. Individually is not possible. It is possible, but it's going to take huge time. So through mass, mass extension, what is happening? Easily we are going to do it. And uh, you know, so that we'll be able to save our time. Now, if you talk about this extension process, uh, uh, generally it's, it's quite easy. Earlier also I have recorded a video, but uh, this recording I am doing because uh, one of my student has raised a request look at here if possible to make a recording on mass vendor or customer extension. So look at here guys, the transaction code is FK15 or uh, for customer it is FD15. So the process is quite, uh, what to say, easy guys i have done earlier i have recorded a video for uh, zl extension that is uh, the transaction code for zl extension is fs15 for vendor it is fk15 and for customer it is fd15 so now in this session i'm going to extend a mass vendor and the way i'm going to extend mass vendor in the similar way that customers are also going to be extended the only difference is of transaction code for vendor fk15 and for customer it is fd15 so i'll just do one thing guys let me log in here and then i'll show you practically how it is going to happen okay so now Okay, so now uh, I'm having uh, already the vendor I have set up for a particular company code. I'll just do one thing, guys. We'll, we'll see at company code level, uh, at table level. In table, uh, I'll just do one thing use S16 transaction code, use LFB1. This is the table. And here you can give that one company code that is D20. And let's suppose I have set up certain vendors for this company code. These are the vendors which I have set up for this particular company code. You just do one thing, click on your multiple selections, and then you need to click on upload from clipboard. So now all the vendors are appearing. Just execute. And if you click on execute button, and look at here guys, uh, these all vendors are only existing for company code TM20. If you want to check like the, whether these vendors are existing only for TM20 company code or other company codes also. So you just come back and remove the company code here. Remove the company code and then execute. Look at here guys, total number of entries five. These are existing only for TM20. Uh, 20 company code itself. I'll just show you one more example guys. Uh, I'll increase Here you just give This is a vendor number this one. I have extended earlier for just testing purpose So this vendor is existing in TM20 also and this vendor is existing for a different company code called TM04 if I execute and then if I execute here look at here the all vendors are existing for TM20, but vendor number 443. 100-443 is existing in TM04 and TM20 both, right? So now, what we have to do, guys? We have to extend how many vendors? We have to extend 
these are the vendors from 38 till 42 for a different company code for a different company code so how to do the extension so for that we are having a transaction code fk15 use transaction code fk15 and press enter now so here first of all you have to give the company code okay company code from which this vendors belongs to so of course it is tm20 and what are the vendors guys so vendor already have copied compete here right from excel sheet so anyway you will be having the list of the vendors so you just copy and then you click on multiple selection okay here system is saying that specify the target company code. target company code is tm04 and then let's suppose i'm going to select here multiple selection and then just click on copy so now what we have given guys we have given all the vendors whatever the vendors need to be extended here it is only how many five vendors whether it is 5 50 500 uh, whatever is there or 5000 also the procedure is same now so simply okay now here uh, there are certain criteria you want to extend master data or is along with master data a deletion flag also will be there guys block indicators also will be there so if you want to extend those indicators also in the sense deletion flag and block indications then you keep this check boxes or is if it is not required then you can remove it it totally depends upon client right based on your requirements so you can remove or use or else you can keep here what we have specified guys here we have specified the target company code it means these all vendors are existing in tm20 company code from here i have to i have to extend these vendors to which company, which company code tm04 if you look at these vendors go to let's suppose xk02 or xk03 xk03 just tm04 and select anyone and press enter right now system is saying that this is not created for company code tm04 but now what will happen i'm going to extend this okay i've given all the details now simply you need to click on execute so click on execute guys system is going to and here look at here a batch input session name is there there is certain name kr10 is there at the end if you want to change that name you can give a specific name anything abc xyz whatever you want you can give or is whatever that name is there you can give it like that itself. so now what is happening here look at here the batch input session is being created what is this batch input session name guys this is the name so here certain code automatically is assigned by sap if you want to change the name then you can change it you can keep whatever desired name you want now so batch input session has been created and where you will be finding those batch input session guys you have to use a transaction code what so sm45 is the transaction code press enter so look at here guys this is what this is what the session batch input session which has been created okay so select it and click on process now so look at here guys we are having two options one is uh, generally two uh, things we are going to do what whether you have to run this in foreground or you have to run it in background foreground and background what is the difference guys in background whatever uh, in, in background itself these all uh, vendors extension will you know happen it will not appear on the screen but if you select this foreground then what is happening guys whatever the changes are happening one by one all the changes will appear on the screen if you talk about in real time if you are going to go for gl extension vendor extension customer extensions or if you do any sort of mass upload it is advisable better to choose this process in foreground itself what is the benefit if you choose this foreground then all the incidents whatever the what to say changes are happening it will be appearing on your screen and somewhere 
due to certain technical issues and all if the system is stuck somewhere then easily we will come to know where is the problem and we are going to easily escape those things okay this is the benefit so select this foreground and click on process if you click on process look at here guys now the changes will appear on your screen what you have to do you need to press enter button you need to press enter button you drag it drag it this one again press enter so you need to you need to keep on pressing enter button always press enter button now what will happen guys in real time like let's suppose you're having 4000 data so now how you are going to keep on pressing enter button till one hour so what is happening most likely what we are going to do we are going to uh, you know select or take some uh, heavy uh, in the sense like duster will be there or you know stapler will be there simply we are going to keep that stapler on the enter button it means what will happen enter button will be pressed by a stapler or duster whatever it is and it will keep on running meanwhile you can go for your tea coffee and every after 20 minutes 30 minutes you can come back and you can see whether the changes are happening or still system has stuck somewhere okay if system has stuck somewhere let's suppose due to certain uh, like whatever the data we have given if if anything if any small mistake is also there then system is going to stuck okay let's suppose this term supplement is mandatory field and against certain vendor we have not given this terms of payment okay so what will happen if system is unable to find then what and, and we have not given the input terms of payment against one particular vendor let's suppose against this vendor then what will happen during mass upload okay then then what will happen then error will take place and the system will not proceed further here itself the screen is stuck now what will happen once you come back then you see that the screen is stuck then you have to apply you have you have to type slash and here and press enter if you apply it if you give slash and then press enter then what is happening guys it means system is going to skip only these vendor this vendor is going to be skipped you have to note it down somewhere in the notebook and then remaining whatever the upload is there again you keep on pressing enter so other uploads will take place so what is happening guys whichever vendor like let's suppose you are having issues with one vendor or two vendor so that is going to be extended or whatever the mass changes are there that is going to be done manually for one or two vendors okay this is how it's happening in uh, what to say real time guys okay so now look at here guys the changes are taking place in the sense it's it's getting extended okay you just keep on pressing enter so that now we are having one more uh, last vendor will be there this is 42 which is going to be done okay so now i think it's done almost so it's done now look at here it's done okay so i think what is happening here if you do the analysis look at here one is incorrect and four got processed one is incorrect four got processed here the second one somewhere okay so now here one is incorrect and four is four got processed in the sense like what is happening guys so we'll do one thing where we will place the incorrect one we'll see so once again you just execute so now what is happening this has got extended this is uh, 38 39 39 is not extended guys then 40 got extended 41 got extended 42 got extended 39 is still not got extended so what is the issues somewhere some issues will be there slash n uh, you can see like fk15 once again we'll check fk15 we'll do one thing 39 what is the vendor number here guys so vendor number is 439 so vendor number 439 we can give vendor number 439 and give the company code here and once again i'm going to give 
do this one and make it 11 now okay if i click on execute let me see what is happening whether, whether it is being run successfully or not now use transit code sm35 and we'll do one thing guys now execute this one let's see so press enter enter i think i might have made some mistake while explanations right so that is why it was not extended in proper way okay so now it's done it is correct so almost all the vendors we have extended guys all the vendors got extended if you come back and i think during explanations i might have made some mistake so that is why okay so now if you click here press enter now the earlier error was there right now it is got extended guys right now if you look at here if you look at here once again come back and once again execute so all all the vendors in the sense even 39 is also got extended for tm04 and tm20 already it was there now there is one more thing there is one more thing let's suppose let's suppose your client is saying now so what is happening there is look at your reconciliation account the reconciliation account is 2000 in tm20 also and it is there 2000 in tm04 also so now here what is happening there is let's suppose if your client says that no for tm04 i want a different reconciliation account the 2000 suppose not to be there let's suppose for tm04 we are having a different reconciliation account 2002 okay that is the reconciliation account so then what will happen then now once again we have to go for mass changes okay because the extension is already done once again we have to go for mass changes mass changes means let's suppose uh, this mass changes I have already explained earlier also use transaction code uh, better to use XK99 itself by this we are going to do this mass changes very easily press enter and uh, uh, reconciliation account right so if you look at the reconciliation account it is there in company code field right it's there in company code okay it will be coming here under company code data so what you have to do you have to select vendor master company code right and click on execute and press enter so what are the uh, vendor masters are there guys these are the vendor masters already selected you just need to click on multiple selections upload from clipboard and execute and then here company code so company code is pm04 because for this company code we are going to make changes just execute look at here all the vendors are appearing one two three four five okay so what are we going to change you just click on here select fields and which field guys so reconciliation account right so you have to come down you have to come down because it is going in alphabetic order this is the reconciliation account okay if you want to change any other things terms of payment or anything then that that also can be selected just execute look at here so reconciliation account right now which reconciliation account is there guys 2000 and what need to be changed 2002 okay so make sure that 2002 must be set up for tm02 company code okay this reconciliation account must be set up for tm02 company code so this 2002 i have given right you select this field okay select this reconciliation field now so this 2002 it means all this 2000 the reconciliation account 2000 supposed to be replaced by what 2002 so you just click on here carry out the mass changes now look at here all got replaced okay so it will be replaced permanently only if you save the changes click on save button guys and press enter so what we have done we have changed the reconciliation account 